Hello, hello everybody, this is Professor West, and welcome back. As some of you may know from my previous videos, I create a lot of videos to try to help my students who want to learn programming, and I also share it with, you know, other people. And this video tutorial, though, is actually going to be focusing on Zybooks. This is an interactive textbook that some of you may or may not have heard of before, but we're going to be using Python, Introduction to Python 3, um, for this tutorial. But this is going to be a Zybooks tutorial, not strictly a programming tutorial. So I just want to make sure that my students who are using Zybooks get off, start off on the right foot and can complete all the assignments and everything. So no matter which Zybook you use, this tutorial should be helpful. Um, notice right off the bat, I've clicked on the table of contents. And you can come down here and see a full, a better list of what all is going to happen in each section. Um, if you come down here and click on Chapter 1, you can see um, the various sections in chapter one and when you click on the first thing programming introduction notice the whole table of contents just went off the screen you can bring it back by clicking this three lines here and now I can access it again and if you click it again it closes the whole point of this is it like I said it's an interactive textbook so you just start off with a regular just reading it just like you would any other textbook um, this section for example is comparing computer programming to a recipe and how you know recipes have various steps you can step one step two step three and you know if you get things out of order if you try to bake it before you add the eggs it's not gonna work right and a computer program is the same way and you have to make sure certain things are in certain orders and we move down a little and you see participation activity a participation activity in this textbook is simply something that you can interact with which is really cool because not a lot of textbooks do that here they give you a sample program and you can click the run button and watch it run and it walks you through each step it's setting m equal to 5 then it's going to print m onto the screen it's going to multiply times 2 giving you 10 and print that multiply 10 times 10 which is 100 and print that and then it adds 15 which makes it 115 your ending value being 115 um, what I like about this now is they give you the chance to move this around a little and run it again the first part stays exactly the same sets it equal to 5 puts 5 on the screen but now things start to change now it's 20 which 20 times 2 is 40 40 times 40 is 1400 or 1600 rather and your ending value is 1600 and you can keep playing around with this and running the program and seeing different results. As you do this, this little uh, indicator over here was transparent and now it's turned orange. This is an indicator for your instructor to let them know that you were able to complete this section properly. So if I start seeing you know, one of my students suddenly stop being able to complete things properly, I can contact them and ask, you know, hey, are you having any trouble with this? You know, maybe you need a little help. But truthfully, you shouldn't wait that long. If you start to have a problem, you should contact me or your other instructor as soon as you have questions uh, if you can't figure it out. Obviously, try to figure it out for yourself first, but if you can't, let me know. So this next section is another participation activity, which is another interactive thing. It's a little different than the one we did up here. This one's going to give you some steps, um, how to make lemonade, fill the jug with water, then you add the lemon juice, then you do something, and then you stir. What would that be? Well, here's your choices. Obviously, you're not going to add water because you've already added water. But if I click water, it comes up and it goes, oh, no, no need to add water again. So now you either would add salt or sugar. I think it would be pretty nasty lemonade if you added salt. So we're going to add some sugar. And it comes up and says, ah, that's the last ingredient. And gives me a green check mark. And if it hadn't, I hadn't already completed these once or twice, then this one would probably have just turned orange, but these probably would not have yet until I finish all of these. When you get down to the bottom, this little section over here um, will take you to the next area. This one tells you how much of this section you've already completed, and in previous attempts, I've completed 100% of it, so yay me. But uh, <laughs> if you miss something, it'll let you know here, and then you can go back up and redo it. When you click 1.2, it takes you down to the next section. I could have done the same thing by clicking the table of contents and clicking 1.2. But, you know, since you're down there, it's already easier. 
and as you come down a little here there's some more activities for you to complete and this one year is a little more um, they want you to take each of these and put put them in order and then run the program again it would test the program and give you whether or not you did it correctly and come on down here's some true false questions and uh, as you can see I haven't completed this one yet so um, it's not colored like some of these others are and uh, let's see I want to skip down and show you something in 1.5 real quick in 1.5 they start actually having some code which one would print welcome well here's your three choices um, this one would not print welcome because you have to have quotes around it this one looks right at a glance but um, notice that there's a single quote at the beginning and a double quote at the end they could both be single quotes or they could both be double quotes and it would work just fine but you can't have one of each if I click this one it's gonna tell me oh no you gotta have matching quotes so when I click this one now it says ah the string is what well, uh, this the, excuse me got a little tongue tied there the string literal welcome is printed and my little indicator over here turned orange so it's just a little bit for you to do and then you come down to the next one they actually have you type your code yourself you can again you can use single quotes or double quotes they want you to type the word hello and then check it and notice that when I typed it everything comes up correctly had I done something wrong like let's say I put a couple spaces in here then it would have said oh no white space matters in um, Python you can't do that so I would have had to take those out also if you can't figure out the answer you can always click the show answer button it comes up and says are you sure you want to show the answer click it again and when I do then it comes up and it says oh, okay here's the answer so this is just for you to be able to make sure that you understand how to do it of course if you did it correctly then you don't need to show the answer because it tells you that you did it correctly it's a pretty neat little program um, as you move on down there's some more for you to do when you get down here towards the bottom now you have an actual code window and again it asks you to type um, it asks you to write one line of code they would have three two one go and you can delete this other code that's here or you can leave it it doesn't care quote three two one go exclamation point notice I didn't put any of the spaces there when I run this program it's gonna do two things it's going to test it to see if the code is correct and then it's gonna test to see if the spacing is correct the code is correct so it says yes here's your you know what the output would look like and it says ah but white space is different so instead of it looking like this with spaces it's gonna look like this so I can go back up I can add some spaces run it again and now it's gonna come up and it's gonna say ah the code is correct and the space is correct and again you could click the view button if you needed to view it uh, if this is an assignment if this is one of the assignments you're asked to complete you can download the student submissions here's some more examples for you to complete and this one shows you uh, wants you to write the code to output what looks like a box or actually it looks like a big giant number eight I guess but um, just stuff that you'll have to practice with and test it and play around with it and the more you play around with this stuff the easier it'll get so make sure you do all of these examples um, when you get down to section 1.13 now we get into what they call a warm-up and what they're gonna have you do is they're gonna give you several steps first they want you to write a program that or write the code that would output hello world that's exactly what we just did um, except you know we did hello we didn't do hello world a minute ago and then now it wants you to take and add how are you to the next line which again it's just gonna be another print statement and then add I am fine inside of parentheses which is a little um, more difficult you have to use the uh, character sequence but that's alright you type your code down here and again this is a lab submission you type your code down here you hit the run button and it'll run it and tell you what's right or wrong with it and then you can submit it if you'd like and 
here's where your output's displayed. And then you can move on to the next one. So really, guys, that's about it. Um, then you can, when you're finished, you can go on to chapters two, three, four. I just wanted to give you a quick run through so you could understand exactly what, how to use this book and what we expect of you. So as always, uh, I'm going to post this on my YouTube, but it, whether you're one of my students or not, even if you're, you know, not one of my students, you're still more than welcome to contact me. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them. So feel free. And like I said, the best thing you can do to learn this stuff is to just write it over and over and over. Just have some fun with it. Play around with it and see what you can do. So I'm going to le leave it there for now, and I will see you guys in the next segment.